Okay, so now we know we have Sentinel's Horde on top of the deck. So we can Station Archivist. We know we're going to be able to choose it. And now we can draw two. Our cards cost one less. We know the top card is another one. Let's go and play this again. See if we can make more. Cool. Now we make a lot more of them. And now we can draw two. And we get another one. And another one. Just do it again. Alright, so every single card that we have in our deck costs zero now. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for an infinite rally deck. Starting off the day, we're going to have some more meme tier decks today and they're all looking really cool. This one in particular, we got Sharima and Piltoverins on for our infinite rallies. And uh, this looks like, it, you know, so this is definitely a combo deck. It looks like it's going to be a little difficult to pull off, but I don't know. Who knows? Basically, the main thing is we got to get action. This is the, the most important thing with, with these kind of decks. We need to find action and hopefully have action right away because we need to get through the Warlord's Palace and then get through the Warlord's Horde and get to Sentinel's Horde. That's going to be really important because once we have Sentinel's Horde, then we can have the draw to your cards cost one less. And, you know, hopefully we can cast that a couple of times, making those cards cost one less, um, you know, a couple of times in the round so we can play a whole lot of things in a round. And the way that we can get multiple of those is once we have Sentinel's Horde, then we're going to use counterfeit copies to copy Sentinel's Horde and put four more exact copies back into our deck. So we have the one Sentinel's Horde in our hand. We put four more back into the deck. And then we can go... You know, then we can draw two with it, right? Because, you know, it's draw two. Um, draw two, then your cards cost one less. But, of course, we can we have different predict to go uh, look for Warlord's Horde, put it back on top before we draw two. Or we can, um, you know, draw another one with, you know, draw it with Time Trick. We can use Practical Perfectionist, copy it once it's, you know, once it's in our deck, put three more copies of it, and then also put it back on top. You know, we have some some different ways like that. We have Station Archivist that can look at the top five, see if we find another uh, copy of the Sentinel's Horde. So we have these different ways to to kind of go off once we you know counterfeit copies and put more Sentinel's Horde into our deck. So maybe we get two of them in a round or three of them in a round. And then, you know, if we get two or three of them, basically everything starts costing like zero mana. And then we find another one and then, you know, everything starts costing zero. We can start playing everything for zero. Then we find like a fourth one. And, you know, we're still playing, we're playing absolutely everything for zero at that point. And so we're predicting a lot. So we're getting leveled up Echo and we're, you know, drawing lots of cards. So we draw Echoes, we play Echoes, then we can get these Chrono Breaks that, you know, eventually we'll find those. We rally with those. That's a way, to, that's a way for us to rally a bunch. Um, and then also the Called Shots, because we'll, we should have like, you know, find even more Echoes for the Champion spell. Some more Called Shots that are making parallel convergences. And then we're getting our free attacks with our parallel convergences and, uh, you know, doing that. So, like, that's how we're getting our uh, quote-unquote infinite rallies is that, you know, basically a whole lot of echoes and a lot of echo champion spells, which are called shots, which then get a lot of parallel convergences because we're just continually drawing and everything with everything costing zero mana. So that's the thinking of the deck. That's going to be the uh, goal of the deck uh, to try to do that. So... Um, hopefully, you know, we're going to play five games. We're playing them in normal with them being a meme tier deck. Hopefully we can pull it off at least once, um, you know, out of the five. That would be really nice. But who knows? Maybe more. No, the action ribbon deck that I have up there does not play Arrow the Tracker, no. All right, we need action. All right, we have action. Good. I'm considering keeping the second one. In case the first one dies, we can have the second one because we need the Warlord's Horde. No, I'll send it back. Turn one, Zoe! Thank you, turn one, Zoe. Man, it took like half a second for that and the blue thing was already coming up. 
Welcome back to the sub squad. Good people don't look the other way. They're gonna make my counterfeit copies cost three mana. Get that strike down to six. Down to four. Down to three. So we want to wait on both. We want to wait on like all these other cards. I guess we could take called shot and you know just cast that and just draw another card and get parallel convergence in the deck could also take the fallen feline to put another All right, we'll just take we'll just take the called shot we'll have the mana hey <laughs> yeah we've got maokai coin up next it's gonna be interesting is worthless. We are what we do. This is justice. Cool. Just get the strike for this countdown. Virtue guides me. That's fine. Not ideal, but it's fine. Ooh, parallel convergence. Um, I think it's either parallel convergence or H and Hourglass. You know, Hourglass can protect the action and be like you know multiple things for the Warlord's Horde, right? It, it's, it's one of those two. I guess I'm going to take the Hourglass. Back in the game. Yeah, we can find Convergence later. That was my thinking. Oh. That Hourglass cost four. Good draw, good draw. The sun is shining. We should too. Yeah. I guess we do that, but that doesn't help my countdown on the Warlord's Horde. So you know they're tapped out. You're at three out of five. Let me get this countdown going. Let's see. So it's four right now. If I hourglass, that'll be three, then two. So I'm getting the attack in here so that uh, we get this countdown going. Alright, let's see if we can go off. Here's our plan. So counterfeit copies the Sentinel's Horde. Counterfeit copies the Sentinel's Horde. Alright, so we have eight other Sentinel's Hordes in there. 
go ahead and cast that so our spells cost one less this round. Okay. We just fall and feline that for zero. They're pranking to make things cost more mana. Okay, I want to perfectionist try to make more warlords hordes or more of these things are these sentinels hordes. Okay, so now we know we have Sentinel's Horde on top of the deck. So we can Station Archivist. We know we're going to be able to choose it. And now we can draw two. Our cards cost one less. We know the top card is another one. Um, let's go and play this again. See if we can make more. Cool. Now we make a lot more of them. And now we can draw two. And we get another one. And another one. Just do it again. Alright, so every single card that we have in our deck costs zero now. Effectively. And so we're we're going infinite. So we've gone infinite, so now it's just like, what do we do? <clears throat> um, we don't really need another action. Well, guess I did that. Hi, we are so smart. But you need that. So everything costs zero. Am I supposed to do one of these other things? I guess we could do this to create create another echo. I guess we could do that. All right, now we get our chrono breaks. Okay. Because yeah, everything costs zero basically. Then we put Chrono Breaks in there, and then we're, once we draw once we draw other Echoes, then we're gonna have the Echo Champion spell, and we're gonna put Echo, you know the Echo Champion spell with the Parallel Convergences in our deck. And so like we keep on going, keep spinning our wheels until we you know draw those Chrono Breaks, draw the Parallel Convergences because we we're, we're infinite. We're gonna be drawing every single card in our deck uh, with how many of those Sentinels Hordes are in our deck now. And so it's just you know our opponent's not gonna have another turn. We're just gonna have infinite rallies, and that's the combo. So that was pretty crazy, being able to get all of those Sentinel Swords. That was crazy. All right, we'll keep the double Fallen Feline. This looks like a aggro matchup. And we got action. If we didn't have action, we wouldn't be keeping all these Fallen Felines, but we got action. Action's the most important thing to have. Alright, good start for them. Okay. So this will put them down, put that thing down to two health. We get a second Hexite Crystal in the deck. Yeah, this is a tough choice. I kind of like all three of these. I think it's probably either the Time in a Bottle or the Preservarium. I'm going to take the Time in a Bottle. 
We have the ability of maybe getting more Hexite Crystals. I don't think I can attack because of Sharp Sight. I really hope they don't have Shivana. At least it's not Shivana, I guess. But because of Sharp Sight, I, I don't think I could have attacked. Because we have to have action alive. Well, never mind. That obviously really hurts. We need the action alive for the Warlord's Horde. So we have to find another auction now. These are not action. We take the ancient preparations and just predict and look for it. We're taking it back. I mean, yeah, we could have put the 5 2 sandstone in play. That would have saved us five lives so they don't attack with the Garen right here. Alright, so that goes at four out of five. No other action and no Hexite Crystals, either. Yeah, I, mean, I guess so. good news, you know, like a, um, a block and a sharp side would have been rough. Man. We are pretty bad at finding another action, or even those Hexite Crystals. Hexite Crystal. All coming back to me now. And there's an action. Scott. Hmm. Oh, I probably should have taken that Chrono Break, but I guess we're not we're not drawing a card right here anyway. It's not. Yeah, we weren't drawing a card right there. Just out of You cannot run from absolution. I do not break rules. I bet yeah, I mean, like, Chrono Break wouldn't have necessarily helped because we would have drawn, like, the Chrono Break right here. Things aren't going to improve themselves. I think I'm just going to take the pass. How they pass here? That's a ton of mana and, like, their ability to, like, get a bunch more things in play. Oh, I think fearsome. I didn't realize that thing was too fearsome. You made choices. <laughs> oh, God, no. It's alright, we don't need the action to survive now anyway.
We take another called shot and go double called shot. I don't think we want that. I think we want... Ugh, that's not what we want. I really don't want to play the Perfectionist. We also kind of have to play it, but I really don't want to. I guess we have to. I should have done this before drawing. Alright, time in the bottle. See you soon, friendos. Time in the bottle's good. Yeah, because of the fearsome, I have to play it. I didn't want to. Okay, let's see how we can do. Oh well, hopefully Station Archivist helps. Chrono Break? We're not reviving anything that's important with Chrono Break. This is a really bad sign because all I have is Station Archivist here. And so Station Archivist just hits these, that doesn't really matter. So I think we have to, yeah, I think we have to use the scrying to predict and shuffle it up. We have to skip. We need to be able to draw cards. Yeah, so they're just like a judgment combo deck. Like, that's their whole team plan is judgment. Alright, send so this thing. But I think they go left to right. So I think, like, how we're going to draw two. I think we draw Scrying Sands and Chrono Break. Which doesn't really help us right now. Time to try again. I could... I guess we, we we should predict first before we draw. Keep it going. Let's keep it going. Um, do I want to pass? You know, if I play the Station Archivist, I pass priority. Uh, do I want to do that? So our largest enemy, that's our strongest ally that's died this game, has been the Echo. So if we, if I resurrection, we can grab an Echo. Uh. I think we'll draw another two. Okay, Chrono Break, Parallel Convergence. Okay, those are cards that we want an Echo for. So, I've been looking into this whole paradox thing. Oh boy, what'd you do this time? Well, you had a future.
Um. It's fine. I know I can Hexite Crystal. But we don't have to. Get this time trick. Uh, action or hourglass or pass. I, kinda, I guess the curator can get rid of this warlord's palace, and that would, you know curator is like a zero mana predict, draw a card in and gets rid of that curator this thing, this warlord's palace. So that's pretty nice. Two back. So they're out of mana. Find another chrono break. Um. We're just get another echo. New tech, new tricks, new day, new zone. This this is over. Obviously, they have no mana, nothing. Like we just kill them. We did it. Our deck's awesome. No time like the present. Move it along, man. That's gonna be two zero. Looks like opponent isn't too happy about it. Five font of powers this round. <laughs> we actually cost. We played a sixth because we went and found an echo with the sixth one. Played sixth this round. Let's see what we go with the archivist. Eh. The same calling card from our other case. Nothing too special. I guess we don't have to play the Curator, though. There is no card play limit, no. Uh, these aren't very good. Chrono Break. Nah, Sentinel Sword. <laughs> Explode. Do know. Turns out whenever everything is free, everything costs zero mana, you can do crazy stuff. Lurkers. Man, lurkers are super aggressive. That's what we don't want to face is the super aggressive decks. Thankfully, our last opponent just kind of stopped playing stuff because they were just holding up mana for judgment all the time. So we need... We need action. Uh, I want to keep following Feline because they're an aggro deck because it's a good blocker against aggro. I could see keeping Time Trick to Time Trick to look for action, I guess. If we don't draw action here. Alright, so we're just left with like the same hand that we mulliganed. Alright, is this one of those... Whoa, Shermie with the big time raid! Welcome everybody from Shermie's stream. We are playing an awesome deck to start with. We're playing this infinite rally deck uh, where we are going to be using Sharima and Piltover and Zon. We're 2-0 so far. We're playing, um, we're using action to get the Sentinel's Horde where you draw two and make your cards cost one less. And then using counterfeit copies to put more of them into the deck. Also with the three mana predict where you predict and then put more copies in the deck. So we try to make a lot of them in the deck, and then we draw a lot of cards. We keep on drawing them, making our cards cost one less, so it's all free, and then we keep drawing more. And then eventually we get a whole bunch of, like, chrono breaks and parallel convergences, and they die. Because we just go infinite. 
So yep, we got action and echo. Hey, we drew action. I do not break rules, I bend them. Perfect draw. We're getting that raid luck with that draw. Get him action. Action. We're playing at the time temple because once we start going, we take all the time. Fearsome's a little bit of a problem. Alright, we're gonna hopefully hit the Hexite Crystal. If we hit the Hexite Crystal, that's big time. Hexite Crystal! Oh, we did not. Okay, so I could skip and hope we draw the Hexite Crystal, or we could take the Time in the Bottle, which the Time in the Bottle is like the best card for us to take. So it's like, how greedy do we want to be of like hitting? Because they just put something back on top. If we Hexite Crystal and kill both of those, that could be awesome. We'll skip. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Right, that's that card. That's not Time Trick where we draw another card. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, sure. Take your time. I love to be kept waiting. Good. Glad to hear. All right, my bad. All right, let's go. The Hexite Crystal would have been so nice there. Oh, good game. Good lurk hand. Good game. Must be nice living off stolen coin. Oh, that's true. I could have looked for hourglass. Good call. Where's that Hexite Crystal at? So they put Rek'Sai back on top again. Finally. And now we need to find action, of course. That was an action. If it was, I would have, you know, drawn a card here. Yeah, I mean, this, this game's over with the Overwhelm. Like, they're going to be able to play Rek'Sai next round. I don't really know why I wouldn't attack with everything else, too. Good... Very good lurk hand. Multiple times hitting Rek'Sai, also you know hitting Pike and Rek'Sai twice. They've had three lurks. <laughs> Those have been their three lurks. They hit Pike once, Rek'Sai twice. 
GG's. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. We'll see which one of us is stronger, Akshan. Have we met? All right, two and one. Good hand opponent. Never plays fair. They're, you know, incredibly aggressive decks like that are definitely going to be a big problem. And they had two of the fearsome guys right away, which, you know, we couldn't block those. And then they lurked three times, and it was Pike, Rek'Sai, Rek'Sai. I mean, that's, that's going to beat most everybody. Send it all back, because we need action. Alright, got action. Hey, what's up, boo? We're going to have the boot stream later tonight with myself and Boot. We're going to be playing, I think, Tribes of Midgard is going to be the game for tonight. The variety stream game, which I have never, ever played before. It's going to be my very first time playing it. Boot's played it a lot. Says it's awesome. So that should be a, a ton of fun experience in a brand new game. So y'all should definitely hang out and try out a brand new game with me. First try gamers. Good people don't look the other way. We always are successful at everything first try. Never mess up. Alright, so no um you know no, no damage dealt, we don't get to do anything there. Guess maybe we just get these other two uh cats in play. Slip through my paws! My plans! Got any silence? Give out the sub to Super Z. You guys are taking a Clockwork Curator. Because that will make this one. This is justice. Yes, you can't attack, can you? I mean, I could attack in Scrying Sands, but I don't think that's what we want to do in life. Boots going crazy! Dark Fortress, Scorpy! Everybody get a ton of hype in the channel. Oh, come on, really? Crumble? Well, that's a problem. Anyway, get a ton of hype in the channel for all the brand new subs. Thank you, Boot. Yeah, that's a big time problem, that crumble. That crumble hurts. That one hurts. We don't have anything to play anymore. Our opponent was... Anti our deck. <laughs> Man, what a what a last two rounds. These aisles will be cleansed. And we're gonna take the vagabond. The vagabond at least starts our process. Yeah. 
Huh. We're gonna need to find another uh, action for the Warlord's Horde. Alright, good hand opponent. Must be nice they shut us down. Coin. Cool little deck here. But this one's over. Most likely, at least. I mean, we're gonna try. Most likely over. This will be two and two. You're only three out of five? the encroaching mist, I guess. New tech, new tricks, new day, new zone. This is my future. So it's good that they that we kill this because now they, they get the encroaching mist right now. And not round start. Echo. Still four blockers. Alright, have a good have a good one, beat your eyes. Yeah, we did get to combo off twice, and who knows? We could maybe combo off a third time. Oh we that yeah, card's game over. They who endure is game over. Alright, no action, we send it back. Zed. I don't please don't have Zed. Not Zed on if they have Zed round three attacking. That's gonna be GG's. We are going to look for action. Yes. Okay. Cause a lot of times, like you know, you'd want to fall in feline first and get the hexite crystal before you're predicting, but we need action in, in immediately. So we need to get these countdowns going. So please do not have Zed, just have whatever else. Water cool, River Shaper. Go ahead. You like it? I mean shut up and fight. We're gonna take a I could take backup action in case this one dies. That's not the worst idea. Because it should be able to strike quick attack first. Like, even if they use, like, twin disciplines and save River Shaper. Okay, like, it should quick attack first and give me that. Yeah, taking another counterfeit would not have been bad, but, you know, we're going to predict anyway. Like, we're going to shuffle it now. So it's basically, like, just in case something happened there. 
Like they use like a removal spell on my action before it strikes, kind of thing. Which I guess I, I could have preservariumed and drawn a card, but um, yeah, another counterfeit copies isn't bad. Okay, because we are, because once we go crazy, we're gonna want like two counterfeit copies, and it's looking we're looking good combo wise right now. Cool. It's fine. It's not dead. I'll take not said. Oh man. When we get there combo wise, we're gonna get there. We'll see which one of us is stronger, Akshan. Have we Akshan? Met? It's just so weird. It sounds so weird to say Akshan. I guess that's I guess that's what it is. Take everything. Um I don't know. I could play Echo first, but then they like ruination. Currents, pull them down. What form will the waters take? Akshan is awkward. No, no. Sound. Going for that. See, I don't even know if I want to play Fallen Feline. I mean, I guess... I guess we just block with it. Yeah. Yeah, we just block with it. It's basically like, I don't know if I want the Hexite Crystal in there. Because, like, do I want to draw Hexite Crystal? But now they played Zed, so I, I guess. Alright, where are you at? Three? That's not very much. What? That thing... That thing big. Kind of have nothing to do. I don't really want to care. I don't really want to cover up anything. I don't think. Oh sure, take your time. I, I think I want these extra cards from the Preservariums. I could like cover up Fallen Feline with Echo, but it's like, what's the point? No, 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 no. We're not playing Archivist. Archivist is for after. Archivist is. We can't play Archivist yet. That's after we use all these counterfeit copies and everything. Alright, so two of our auctions are dead. We do definitely want to find a predict card, but we're going to be drawing three cards right here. So hopefully, or not a predict, but a, a countdown. One of our countdown cards. Countdown? Hmm. Uh, we need a countdown card. I see every move. Countdown. These are not countdown. I could take time trick and try again. All coming back to me now. Gross. Uh, maybe I do have to archivist. I don't want to. I guess we could vagabond. I don't want that froze time. Obviously, we gotta play stuff. We have too many cards in hand. They have all this mana over here. I should probably just be passing. Alright, I got nine cards in hand. Uh, that's not good. 
shadow rise. I just need to find any predict card. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, if I would have responded with hourglass, because the hourglass counts the, the countdown. I need to respond with hourglass. But the question is, is like even even if I would have done that, like how do I how do I stay alive from this attack anyway? Because like how do I get like the blockers out and everything? Like I don't think I. It doesn't really matter if I would have done that because I I can't I can't even if we would have done that and we would go infinite, it still takes a couple like we we still die to this attack. There's nothing that we can really do. What is what does parallel convergence do? What does what does any of these cards do? Like how do any of these cards even help us in the slightest? Yeah, we convergence, they don't block. Like, none, none of these cards help us. Once The Dawn and Dust just kills us no matter what we do. We had to combo last round. And we need we need to find anything for this game. Anything, any one of our countdown cards last round. There's nothing that stops 30 Overwhelm plus all these other attackers. We just had a combo last round, and we didn't. Okay, so we ended up, you know, two and three with our combo deck. It's, you know, we're not playing really any defense, <laughs> as we saw there uh, with those games. You know, if they, uh, you know, are really aggressive, it, it's tough. But then also, you know, like our last opponent wasn't really aggressive, but, you know, for most all the game. But then they just put out, you know, attacking for 70 or whatever that was with the Dawn and Dusk Hecarim combo. And we had to combo the, the round before, which... Normally, I think we could have, but we just couldn't quite find like that one more time in a bottle, right? Like that, if we had one one time in a bottle, we would have had it. Um, there was the one time that I like I predicted and kept a, the second counterfeit copies, but then we drew the third and didn't quite draw one other countdown card uh, that we needed. Um, you know, so that that happens. But uh, pretty cool deck though. We saw that we got to combo off our first two games, and it's not that unreliable comboing off in this deck. It's really not. We saw it wasn't too, too difficult, and whenever you do, you got to do some crazy, crazy stuff. But our, our last three games were a little bit more of a struggle, and that's why it's a meme tier deck, right, in a, in a combo deck like this. Like, you're going to uh, get ran over sometimes um, and things like that. But So uh, that's how that's how it goes. That's But, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy that we got to combo off twice and almost a third time. So, so close to a third time but just not quite we just yeah we need one more i think we already drew both of our curators who so we just needed a time in a bottle and you know maybe i could have uh done better that round before at, at finding it all right but that's gonna be it here though for infinite rallies so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and as always please leave those comments hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck and of course if you got other meme tier deck ideas let me know over there in the comment section but thank you so much for watching infinite rallies and I'll see you for the next video.